Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. If you're ever working on a card project and you completely screw the pooch, don't give up. Don't give up. In today's video, I'm going to create a fun shaker card, but there is a moment in the video where I pretty much said to myself, you're done, walk away. But instead I took a breath, thought it through, and in the end, we're gonna bring it around for a victory lap. So. When you're tempted to just scrap it and start over, maybe there's a way you can save it. And hopefully this video will inspire you to keep on trucking. Get it? Keep on trucking. That shaker card save is coming up next. <laughs> I can't even point right today. So here's a look at some of the products I'll be using today to make shakers. I've got this really cool panel die, right? And then there's other elements that you can use for greetings and super fun. And this is new. These are shaker covers. I've already taken one out of the packet, so I'll show you. They're just little plastic friends that are going to fit right in to that die cut shape, right? So you could fill and have a little bubbly shaker. And I think that's what I'm going to try today. I've also got new adhesive sheets. Now I haven't done much with adhesive sheets. I've seen folks use these with fun foam, but I have an idea that may or may not work. So we're going to give that a try. Plus I have another one of the dies that they're releasing today. Uh, and this is designed with a little spacer to help you make shakers easily and cut out the stars. But I definitely know I might use this little friend to cut a background when I'm building that shaker portion. Again, not sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but, oh, I have some sequins too. So I think I'm gonna go with a pink theme. These are the basics, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create, well, I guess I'm gonna take one of these out because my shaker is going to be coming out and I'm not gonna be filling behind it, if that makes sense. So I think I'll just, uh, what's the easiest way to do this? Um, <laughs> Take, peel, peel back a corner, right? Don't you peel, peel back a corner like this. Okay. And I've seen folks do this. I'm going to line it up right there, right? Let's go like that. And once I have this friend down here, I'll just go like that, bring it all the way down. And I'm going to save whatever I don't use here because that I just created adhesive backed cardstock, right? So if I were to use this for something else, it would already have adhesive. I'm just gonna trim this little bit off because I don't want it to stick to anything when it's going through my die cut machine. Like that. And did I mention this color of cardstock? This is Dusty Rose from Gina K Design. So now here's what I'm going to do. I wonder if I can fit it Mm, that's pushing it. I'm going to tape this into place and I'm going to go ahead and run this through my Gemini because my Gemini gives me such good cuts and I'll bring it right back. I figured I'd bring my plates over here just to show you the cut and see what this looks like. All right, let's open that up. All right, now I'm going to get these friends out of the way. All right, that, lo that does look like it cut through really well. So I'll cut you guys out like that, that, that that. And now what I end up with is just a nice pink outline. And just poke out, poke out. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful cut. Isn't that fun? Okay. So now I have this beautiful pink frame. I'm going to save this and I'm going to save this. But I, I have this idea for the shaker and I think it will work. But what I need to do is grab the star from the other set. And I'm going to die cut a backer for that, right? So that I can use my little, where's my insert? <laughs> there we go. So that I can use this and it can have its own color background, which is gonna be white. So let me go die cut this out of some white cardstock. So here's my thinking. Now, I don't know if this will work, but we're gonna give it a whirl. We're gonna flip you over. We're gonna flip you over. And I am going to put this in here, right, with some sequins. But first, I'm going to expose. I'm going to expose the, uh, well, let's see if I can get it off one side or the other. I want to expose the adhesive, and maybe I need to do this with a little, with a little edge friend like that. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that came off beautifully. Look at that. Love it. We're gonna try to preserve this space. And what I'm gonna do is drop this guy in right into the star. All right, well, let's, uh, you know what? I think I gotta go this way because then I can get the stick on there. And I can't see what I'm doing. I'm gonna bring the backer, but there we go, okay? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put you right over, like, like that. Press it all down until that shaker is exposed, okay? See that? But not press the other. If you keep the, uh, what's this called? If you keep the uh, adhesive piece here, the release paper, then you can, I think you can do this a little bit more nicely, right? But I'm just pressing that in because the next step is going to be grabbing some sequins. Let's shake, shake a few in there. Because it's a nice little bubble thing, I want it to be, you know, somewhat full, but not ridiculously so. I'm gonna get that out there. And then what I need to do is find a way to have this be the backer. So I'm going to actually hold it in place with a little tiny piece. I want straight of post-it tape, right? Now, I don't know if this was how it was intended to be used. In fact, I don't think it was, but I think this is gonna work really well. Let's get you just right there, okay? And it keeps slipping on me. I'm gonna get a card base and we're gonna put this on the card base. I'm going to abandon this idea because I don't think it's working. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna line this up here at the bottom. Does that look about right? Let's see. We'll do our best lining it up like that. Oh, no, I can't quite get it. Hold on here. Maybe we'll start up here. Start up here, line it up, and come over here and drop it down like that. Perfect, okay. Now I'm gonna press and full. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try this again. You know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, don't throw in the towel. Okay, I'm gonna get some of those in. I've got sequins everywhere. Here's what I should have done. And we're gonna see if this works. I know it looks a little bent up there, but I think, oh, let's see. I think it's gonna be okay. I just need something to seal these in. And that's what I didn't have. And because this is clear, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it will, you know, hold it in place. We may have to start over. You know, that's one thing I'm gonna say about card making on my channel. You don't know what's gonna happen. So let's try going from this angle. Like that. I did feel, nope, it didn't quite, it didn't quite stick. Okay, okay, we're okay. We're okay, sequins are moving. Okay, let's try it again. We're in the right place. The right, right time. Uh, go like that and press. And then work our way up so that we can kind of get back to where we were. All right, come on now, come on. There we go. And press. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we're gonna try. Okay, this time I'm not gonna lift it up before I'm sure. I feel something oozing out there. Boop, okay. <laughs> Look at that. Now I have it down. Now, did I mess it up a little bit? Of course I did. Is that okay? Sure, it's fine. It's gonna be okay because I have a I have a plan. Okay, I have a plan for all of this. And the next part of the plan involves maybe are we gonna fill in these? Fill in, in that like that. And we're going to fill in the bottom side as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I think it will help preserve the shape. You, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning as I go, but I think, I think we're on to something here. So let's press you here, press you in here, and push so that everything sort of starts to come back together. Get them in there. Position, position, and press, okay? So now look at that. We're working it. The adhesive comes off really easily. And I think that's actually very nice. So we're gonna fill that in, kind of forgot about that. We'll pop you right in there too, fill that in. Okay, now I did die cut another piece here. 
but I'm going to have to find some different colors for the, the little, uh, I might just do a, like a whole pink thing, right? So if you have someone in your life that loves pink, you could just do a whole pink thing. I personally love pink. I think it's very fun. Oh, that, that just comes out so nicely. Oh, some people have asked me, because I, I use a Spellbinders and I use a Gemini, uh, what I think of the Gemini Junior. And I I really, for stuff like this, you know, with it with intricate cut and an extra little bit of, uh, I'm going to try to keep this as straight as possible, a little dimension extras, right? It is amazing. It's just amazing. All right, I'm trying not to bend this. And let's see if I can line this up right on top of the other one. Wait. Oh shoot, am I in camera? I feel like I, <laughs> sometimes I get so uh, focused on that, that it is hard to remember to stay in the frame. Let's see, let go. There we go. I think that's gonna be good up there. I think that's gonna be good. Tapping it down in place. I mean, I use spray adhesive a lot, right? But that, I mean, that's, that's pretty fast. Check that out. You know, there's another layer of dimension on the card. And I could probably do more. I want to show you this, though, too, because you do have to trim off if you're going to do this. And I think I can do this without ruining anything. Just that I'm going to use smaller scissors. Sometimes I worry about these ones because they're so sharp. But just trimming that off. I'm trimming that piece off, right? So that's off. Oh, so cute. All right. I'm going to find some cardstock to plug in here. And I might do one more layer of dimension. Had a change of heart, decided I wanted to go with glitter cardstock. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these pieces in first. And I'll just put a little, just scribble a little liquid glue in like this. Because the nice thing is it will stay in place once everything's popped down. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to make mistakes and and stay with them, right? Because what if what if you're you know you're just one step away from the best card ever, huh? <laughs> am I right? Because I can't wait to do the greeting for this as well. And I am gonna add one more layer of dimension with. Okay, see that now we have. A glittery rainbow, we have a shine inside, and I am going to cut out one more layer of dimension for the outline. But I just had a crazy idea. I think I'm gonna make it white. All right, before I adhere this, I don't, I think, I feel like that is actually gonna be cuter because it gives some definition, right? Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna glue this on. I, because I wasn't sure what I was going to do, I didn't put the, uh, I put spray adhesive on this one. So let's see. Oh my goodness. Let's see if this will work. Sometimes, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta know when to fold them and uh, know when to hold them, know when to walk away and know when to run as the great Kenny Rogers once said, right? So then you get that little bit of pink from the extra depth and dimension, but I don't think that looks bad, right? Pressing that down in here. Where's my bone folder? I think I'll use my bone folder for this. Yes, look at that, pressing that down. There we go, pressing that down. Now we just need to figure out what our greeting is going to be for this super cute card and we have follow your dream or follow your, yeah, follow your dreams. There's a very sweet make a wish, which could be really cute. So let's, uh, let's think about that real quick. All right. Another new product, which is going to help with shaker cards, but I will show you this. Look at this. It's foam strips. They come in, uh, wider widths and narrower widths. But what I want here is I just want to take a little bit off here so that I have some. I like foam strips sometimes and I really like the depth of these. Just wanna make sure that this can pop and float a little bit in the position that I want it. Be very careful if you have sharp scissors like mine because uh, you don't, you don't wanna cut yourself. 
I have done that with these scissors, in fact. Not for a while, but when I first got them, I think I, <laughs> I misjudged how sharp they were. And they're wonderful, but they're very sharp. Okay, so see, we're, we're strategically hiding this 1 8 inch foam. And I really want to have one more piece over here. So I think that will give me the pop I need, but I just want to make sure it's not showing, you know? I'm just pressing it down so the whole thing doesn't come up when I'm doing this. Come on now, come on. Okay, there we go. Let's see, where's our foam? I'm going to push it as close as I can in here, but I do want it to be straight, and I think, I think that looks good right there. All right, let's pop it. Let's pop it and see. Is that going to pop? Let's see right in there. I think, I think we're good. All right, does that look straight? I probably should have put liquid adhesive on it, but I kind of thought, you know what? I think we're going to go for it because I think that looks straight. Right? You can wiggle a little before you commit, and I'm going to press. But look at that nice little floatiness that it has. <laughs> That's really fun. All right, is there anything else this card needs? I mean, I could put some sequins into. Well, let's see. I, I certainly spilled enough of them. Um, let me get a few out here. <laughs> oh, I hope this reminds you that, you know, if at first you don't succeed, don't don't throw in the towel because, you know, you might you might have a fantastic card project that you, you got rid of because you didn't, Think you were going to be able to bring it home and then you know you then you bring it home and well I guess that's that's the point of the story there's not really much more to it um but yeah don't 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 throw in the towel pick up maybe pick up one of those friends a couple little silvers no that doesn't even show up I'm not going to do that um I think I'll just do three and I think I'll just stick with the ear like the iridescent you know what I mean? Because I love the look of those. How about that? Is that cute to have a few in there so that, you know, they're coming out and kind of popping their way? I don't know. Should I even bother? What would you do? This was your card. Would you, uh, would you go all in and, you know, sprinkle a few more and have a little color happening up over here and maybe pop a blue one up over there? I don't know. I mean, that's not bad, right? Because those colors are all represented in here, but maybe not the blue. Maybe maybe the green one again up here, like that. I don't know, is that kind of cute? I actually like that. Is it me? <laughs> You're thinking, Kathy, don't do it. You know what though? You gotta go with it, right? You just gotta go with it, so let's go with it. I'm going to take my liquid adhesive and this is for the Boop Crew. And that was Boop. Thank you very much, because you don't have, you, yeah. All right, let's get a little adhesive and get you going in here. Come on, you are flowing. There we go. Boop. Oh, it's okay. Boop. Let's go here and boop. That will do ya. And the final one right up there on the corner. Boop. Like that. I think that's it. I think that's it. I, I don't know. What do you think? Did, did we nail it? I mean, it took a while, right? I'm looking at the time, but how fun is that? Oh, I got to put it on a card base. I've got my four and a quarter by five and a half note card. And, you know, there are other adhesives you can use, but I'm just going to use... My Simon Says Stamp Dot Runner, because this is really strong. It becomes permanent, and I think this will be just what I need, you know, to hold this on. Again, I never expect that my cards are going to go through extreme, <laughs> you know, uh, like people are going to handle it so much and it's all going to fall apart. I don't care if people, you know, if they end up not keeping this, I'm okay with that. But here's what I like to do. You can do this in your stamp position or two. Just find a common edge that you can press into. Right, like all that. Oh, come on now, it's very sticky. Pressing it up. Gosh, it totally moved on me. Let me try it this way. Oh, Kathy, 
it's a comedy of errors today, but I still think this turned out so cute. Lining it up like that. There we go. Right onto the card base. Are we lined up? We are. Holy crap. Oh, got a boop crew. Dang it, I got a reboop. Get you in there and press. I need I need to get that out of there. So I'm gonna take some adhesive eraser. You know, friends, you never know. I'm gonna get that off there like that. There we go. And that should dry clear. I may need some more there, but <laughs> that's my finished card project. Now I still think this is friggin' adorable, but I think it's very cute. It's very festive. I mean, it's got a lot of shine. It's got this little bubble window on it. I think we got there. You're gonna have to let me know in the comments below. Did we get there? I really wanna know. You can find all the supplies that I used in today's card project linked below the video in the information box. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you back here with another card project soon. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.